For nearly 20 years, Bushy Hall have specialised in supplying winches to industry in the UK. Their customer base is diverse, extremely wide-ranging, from the largest operators in the field of vehicle recovery to major construction and plant companies, the utilities, the MOD and local authorities. During this period, a major user of their winches has been the fire service. Historically, the majority of brigade vehicles have chosen electric machines with front bumper installations, and for general purposes, that choice is still the most popular today. Bushy Hall have developed fitting kits to suit most chassis chosen by the brigades, such as Volvo, Mercedes, Iveco, and MAM. In recent years, more sophisticated developments have been introduced by Bushy Hall, including load-limiting devices, which in the case of hydraulic models is simply a pressure relief system. For the electric machines, they pioneered an advanced electronic system. A neat radio control unit is now an option for both electric and hydraulic winches in place of the traditional Wanderlead. For many brigades, winches provide a versatile, powerful and efficient tool. In an unusual set of circumstances at an RTA, Wiltshire Brigade were able to move a vehicle in which the driver was trapped and inaccessible. The position of the car in a water-filled ditch, trapped by an uprooted tree, made it impossible to reach the casualty without taking the unusual step of first moving the vehicle. By carefully winching the car out of the ditch, it was stabilized on firmer ground so that the casualty could be reached more quickly. The sophistication of today's rescue vehicles reflect the complexity and diversity of the emergencies they attend. In response to this demand, Bushy Hall have developed, in close association with the fire service, an innovative winching system designed to provide a strong, powerful and totally flexible piece of rescue equipment. Their Rescue Master system has been designed to provide the flexibility of both front and rear winching with the incorporation of one single hydraulic winch sighted at the back of the vehicle. This is achieved by using the natural space available between the top of the chassis and the underside of the body, enabling the rope to be passed through the vehicle using a system of heavy-duty sheave wheel assemblies. The winch model chosen will reflect the line pull rope capacity and line speed required by the size and application of the vehicle. Unlike bumper mounted winches, this system with its unique positioning will operate at acute angles without causing the rope to bunch as it wraps onto the drum. Control of the winch is available at both ends of the vehicle with a remote wander lead or manual control. A radio control system is also available as an option. The manual control lever may be positioned to suit the client and the vehicle body construction. The only other control is that which operates the free spool clutch, allowing the winch rope to be pulled away from the vehicle by hand. Other systems feature one which is hydraulically activated for the free spool clutch, fitted adjacent to the manual lever control. To deploy the rear winching position, the pin retaining the snatch block is removed. The free spool clutch engaged and the winch rope pulled outwards. This rear position, utilizing two falls of rope, gives an immediate high-powered winching facility of 9.5 tons from this winch. Rearward winching also allows the rope at the front of the vehicle to be connected to another vehicle as anchorage. This ensures that half the winch load is withstood by the rescue master vehicle and half by the anchorage vehicle, a necessary requirement when attempting to contain 9.5 tons of tractive effort. Carrying out winching operations from this position is quick and easy due to the snatch block being reeved in the system.
A single line pull is available from the front of the vehicle, which produces 4.75 tons capacity from this winch model. This position may also make use of the free spool facility. For light winching jobs, the front position is generally utilized. Also, from this position, the maximum length of rope is available. The winch rope exits the vehicle at the front via the roller guides. It should be remembered when specifying winches that other accessories such as snatch blocks, strops and shackles will also be required. Bushy Hall produced the Rescue Master kit at their premises in Hertfordshire. Various chassis are sent here by the bodybuilders for installation of the system by Bushy Hall's own engineers. The heart of the system is the winch. Its capacity may be from 3.5 tonne to 7 tonne line pull. The drum, fitted with a pressure plate, gives added control to rope layering. From the winch, the rope runs forward to the return sheave assembly. The positioning of this assembly is critical as it ensures correct lead angle of the rope to the drum and therefore good wrapping characteristics. After exiting the return sheave assembly, the rope runs to the rear closing member, which is fitted with a snatch block reeved to the rope, giving instant two-fall working from the vehicle. A simple quick release pin holds the snatch block in place when not in use. The winch rope then runs to the front of the vehicle via deflection sheave assemblies located to provide routing which avoids any chassis obstructions. The Rescue Master system terminates at the front of the vehicle with a heavy duty guide roller assembly which allows single fall working at an angle to the vehicle. Control of the winch in and out functions is either by lever control or by wander lead. The operating valve is specifically built to allow this dual control function. The wander lead may be plugged into sockets at the rear and front. A further option is the radio remote handset. The winch free spool clutch is simply operated by a lever control fitted to the clutch operating valve. With high loadings, which may be produced by Rescue Master, it's imperative that the chassis subframe is of correct design. Where other equipment is fitted to the chassis, like a lorry loader crane, the design must be suitable for the fitment of the system. Bushy Hall's engineers therefore work closely with the crane installer and suppliers of other equipment, such as the hydraulic oil tank, control valves, and PTO pump. The fitting of a Rescue Master system by Bushy Hall will take approximately two to three weeks, dependent on the chassis involved. The company is able to supply the system in kit form for installation by a vehicle body builder and are happy to provide all the necessary technical advice and assistance. 
In order to fulfill supplier and purchaser's legal obligations, all winch systems fitted by Bushy Hall are tested and calibrated in accordance with current legislation using a dynamometer. On completion of the successful test, the relevant certificates are issued. A careful training program in the use of winches generally and in the correct operation of the new rescue master in particular is something on which Bushy Hall places great emphasis. Every brigade taking delivery of a new vehicle fitted with the rescue master system is provided with training at their own centre. Extra training days are available if required, as are special training videos which have been produced in conjunction with East Sussex and Wiltshire brigades. As with any powerful tool, there can be hazards involved while operating a winch. However, formal, practical and theoretical training will guarantee a high level of efficiency from this equipment, as well as ensuring safety in operation. Thus gaining complete respect from its operator for the power and versatility it provides. <laughs> 